up with a simple quantitative way to test pressure switches and in your dance machines or other dance machines like this one. You can use this method to find out why you're getting pad misses or why you're getting general bad behavior from a dance pad. You don't actually need keys to the machine or a uh, screwdriver to actually take apart the pad to do this test. All you need is a dry erase marker and a nice round weight like this one. 25 pounds I found works well. And the test is actually pretty simple. You just take the weight, set it roughly in the center of the pad, and then you roll the weight slowly towards each sensor, and you find the point where find the point where the actual sensor still responds to very light presses, and you mark that, and you do this towards each of the sensors. And you find this threshold for each one, and you do it on this one, these ones now. So what we end up with is marks on the pad, and you can interpret it like this. You draw a dot in the dead center of the pad, and you look at the distance from the edge, or from each sensor, towards the center, like this. And you look at the proportion of this is actually covered by that distance there. And here I'd say it's about 60 or 70 percent, call it six and a half. On the top one here. It is uh, probably about 70%, so call it 7. On the front one here, it was actually all the way. I had to actually go away from the center to get it to actually stop responding. So this one I'd call a 10. And one over here, we found it actually worked about uh, 8 tenths away towards the center. So we'll call that an 8. So this pad actually works quite well, with this one responding at a, with a rating of, let's say, 10 in this case. Unlike this pad over here, which we've been having problems with, is actually responding with a zero over here. While this one is quite responsive, this one takes a whole lot of force to actually respond. Anyway, so again, the test is you apply pressure at successive points towards the edges, and the point, where the, uh, the point where it begins to respond is the point where you mark it, starting at the center is a 10, and ending and starting near the edges is a 0. And you can use this to sort of rate all your sensors and then decide how you want to take action from there.